Hey, Sir Basil, welcome back to K Popsicles Patreon Edition. It's been a minute, guys, um, but we're back. We're doing a bunch of uh, our uh, Patreon content today for you. Um, our first thing that we're doing, we're hopping into episode 5 of Because of You. Um, we've been really enjoying this. I mean, I've already seen it, obviously, but Kate's been watching it, so she's really been enjoying it. I have. Um, now, did you say, like, you had a favorite couple yet, or? I don't, but I feel like it's probably going to be the one where it's... The main couple? Yeah. Okay. I think them. So. Yeah. I, well, I've seen, like, a lot of people react to it, and they, like, sometimes people prefer the side couples more than the main ones, so that's why I was like... I, I they always, always I, change. I, yeah, I always gotta ask, but I'm like, definitely the main couple's my favorite, but the the one I find the cutest is the, um, the middle brother, mm -hmm. because him and his best friend. Um, and then the younger brothers are, they're adorable in their own way, but they're, like, the third couple, so. But I definitely prefer the first, the main couple, so. Um, let me see if I can remember where we left off with episode four. Um, I think we really started getting into it. Um, do you remember what happened? I remember they kidnapped him. Yes. They were getting into more of the action. He stomped on his food. That was quite mean. It was very rude. Like, excuse you, sir, I bought, I paid... All my money for that. They think That's my dinner. He's their brother. Yeah. And so they were kidnapping him to kind of figure out if he was their brother or not. And they're like, it's all plausible. You know, they're, he definitely's like, why don't you want to be my brother? And he goes, I don't want to be your brother. <laughs> he's like, what the hell? So like, I'll date you, but I don't want to be your brother. <laughs> I don't want to be your bro. But yeah, so that's where we kind of left off, and now we're heading into this episode, so we're super excited. Um, we won't talk for too much longer, guys. Thank you guys for coming over and supporting us here. It does mean the world to us. Alright, are you ready? Ready. Let me screen record this. Three, two, one. Alrighty, guys, this is episode five of Because of You in three, two, one. Wait, what the heck just happened? Come on. Screen recording has stopped. For what? No, I think something went on with my iPad, so give me a moment. It opened a new tab. That might be what happened. Yeah, I don't know why it opened a new tab, but... Because you're using a sketchy website. It's Drama Cool, I man. use sketchy websites, too. It's okay. <laughs> I always use Drama Cool. Because Drama Cool has access... It lets me uh, screen record it, whereas others don't. Let me refresh. Start over. Sorry about this, guys. Okay, let's try this again. Screen record. Three, two, one. At least it's just during the intro. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, um, I guess one of the comments has been talking about like how he literally only spoke Korean, and so he just memorized like he listened to like when their lines end and he memorized like when their lines end. And he only memorized his in Korean. <laughs> and I was like, well, damn. And I guess like during interviews and stuff, he had a translator, obviously. But I've never like listened to his group because I guess he was like a Korean artist in a group, and I'm like, I haven't found it yet. Yeah. <laughs> I still think that's one of the most beautiful things. Mm -hmm. With the water and the rock. <laughs> Scandalous. <laughs> but they're just saying that this is more proof that he could be their brother. He's just getting manhandled. <laughs> They're like, Ooh, what? <laughs> he didn't, even he didn't know. He's like, what? 
所以你妈在结婚之前就怀孕。Four months before marriage, she got pregnant. 你的生父不一定是你的法定夫妻，所以有可能是我妈绿萝吧。不，以时间来看，应该是你妈绿萝吧。什么东西啦？你们家人讲话可不可以有点逻辑啊？ It's apparently not possible for people who are getting married to get pregnant before marriage. Apparently not. How tragic. He's able to trade him for the spring businesses all day now. Why is he wearing gloves? Because it looks very suspicious. I remember earlier when they were in the bed, he was like putting the gloves on and he was grabbing him and shit. For like no reason. What are you gonna do? He's so extra with it. He's like, okay, it's time for your prostate exam. Basically. <laughs> Like he's so extra. He's taking out fucking tools and shit that he don't need. Let's tug it out. You gotta just ask for nice. Exactly. Like you could have asked. Like he's like, no, I'm gonna force it in. Like, why are you staring? Awkward. What are you doing? <laughs> Help. <laughs> Inner thoughts. Is it what? Can we think some DNA so we can get this over with? Right, like, you could have just said that before. He wasn't moving around at all. <laughs> Is it because we're brother? No, bitch. That's not why. <laughs> he just looks so confused. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> that suit, though. He always looks good in the suit. This will affect our family. The model. No, you don't. Clearly. Right. You waited this long. Well, damn. I like how the middle brother is literally like the mediator. He's like, okay, calm down. It's okay. <laughs> It's a fortune cookie. Not a 500, it's a 100. It's a 100. They got the results back fast. They got money, man. They get the power. Like, I want the results today. <laughs> He's like, it's not altered. It wasn't even opened. I did not look into this whatsoever. So you can be the first to know.
，要是你能提，回来吧。I'm not your dog. 凭什么你叫来就来，叫什么就走？不可能，你这辈子都离不开我的。Excuse me, I can never let you go. 躲开谁到底离不开谁嘛？你不要闹了好不好？对谁在闹啊？水姑姑，你不可能会离开我。Yes, you will. 你从十七岁就跟我在一起。And now you're like 82. Just let go. <laughs> Creepy old man. <laughs> I don't want you. In the case of Sun Juan being your son, the results are in. You are not the father. I'm not going to lie to you. 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 You are confused <laughs> and emotional. You have one. Not the father. Ah, what? Bianchi is not my son. Boo 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 boo. That Lin Xun looks too cold. That big deep sigh of relief that he just gets. He's like, awesome! I can date him now. Right, he's like, he's so happy. He's like, great. He's like, I'll still take care of him. Bitch, he don't want you. Don't you think you should have been the father of your father? Exactly. He said, I don't want you. Don't you think you should have been the father of your father? Exactly. He said, I don't want you. What do you know? He told me this one. I'm going to take care of my father. Hey, dear! Father! Just yelling at each other. Three minutes and three minutes. Like, you've lost so bad. Like, you suck. <laughs> Could I Needs a really nice office, though. Yeah. I'll show you this one. Who's <laughs> so that rich? <laughs> She was pregnant with his child, though. Ooh, but she got rid of the baby. And then she got pregnant with her future She's husband. She's like, fuck him, I'm gonna get my own baby. Right. <laughs> she said, I'm cutting off everything from you. I don't want no ties. And then... Got pregnant with her future husband, got married, and said, That's my family now. <laughs> Sad hours. <laughs> would you guys go to that length, though, to like get rid of like every tie to somebody if you're like done with them? Like, would you go that far? I'm wondering. Maybe. Let us know in the comments, guys. Just come to him, takes a nap. He's like this, but... Just let him relax, let him sleep. No, this is a flashback to earlier. <laughs> he put him in a closet and tied him <laughs> up. It's... <laughs> zip tied his sock. <laughs> he zip tied him. <laughs> It literally just looks like he's a tight sock and they even look like he's a tight his feet together. Just a sock. <laughs> Doesn't say a word, just lets him go <laughs> like this. <laughs> Looks like you're not one of us. I don't want your money. I mean, I'll, I'll take your money, but I don't want your money. <laughs> <laughs> He just has pride. He doesn't want nothing from you. 
太可怕了，你欠我的东西可多了，但我不想要再跟你有任何牵扯。幸好我没有那么倒霉，我是你弟弟。嗯你才不说 ，Hold another reason 吧。嗯。我说了不要。Yes. I thought like that. Baby, it's fine eating it. Great. I like it. He just said he likes it. What the hell? What the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god. We got ghost sitting windows over here. <laughs> He breaks the nose of the house. What the fuck? I hope someone can be with me. What? Put your hands on me. You're crazy. You're crazy. And that's the end of it. Cliffhangers. Cliffhanger, don't be... We hate cliffhangers, actually. I know. We say, also, don't we love cliffhangers? No, we hate them. So that was episode five. I like that one, too. Yeah. <laughs> the dad's reaction of finding out he wasn't the father. And then the you flashbacks to their relationship that gives us more context. Yeah, to kind of understand what went wrong, like, why they made that whole bet of, like... Until I die, basically, I'm not gonna come back. And it's like, no, you will. And it's like, no, I won't. <laughs> it's like, you lost this bet, sir. You lost it hard. Like, not only did you lose your girl, you lost whatever kid you might have had, the one you thought you had. You lost everything. Yeah, and he's like, I can still take care of him. And then he's like, he wants nothing to do with you. Right, it's like, he don't want Especially you. Especially when you have your sons kidnap him. Yeah, because, you know, clearly when, you know, you kidnap somebody, they, they want to love you and call you father. You know, that's just going to happen. Pretty sure, no, that does not happen at all. <sighs> but, yeah, we get definitely get more context into the backstory a little bit. We get more information about what actually happened with the mom and, like, her... Yes, she actually was pregnant, but she got rid of it. Probably had an abortion. Yeah. She Which, I mean, like, if I was probably breaking up with someone, I'd probably get an abortion, too. It depends on your views and stuff. Like, I know there's probably people out there who would be like, no, you have a baby anyway, blah, blah, Um, but, it, it, like I said, it's a personal choice. It's definitely up to the person. And if you clearly, like, if it's not that far along, like, you know you're pregnant, but you don't want any ties to that person. Like, you, like it was a horrible thing. You just ended. You're like, I don't want nothing to tie me to this person. Mm -hmm. I don't want to deal with this. Sometimes you make that choice, and, I mean, for her, I guess it seemed it was the right choice. I mean, you know, she got married, she had her own son, she lived a happy life away from the guy, anyway, up until her death, pretty much. <laughs> but, yeah, and then we also get to see more of the inner thoughts of our main man. <laughs> He's starting to feel things, feel things for, uh, Lin Jun. Linju. Having inner turmoil. He's like, why is my heart racing? Why am I staring? Bitch, you like him. Do we have connections because we're brothers. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> you are not related. Um, and him, like, being so cold toward him, like, just take the money. I don't want to owe you anything. He's like, bitch, I don't want your money. He's like, just take it. And he's like, <laughs> and then you see him breaking in the house. Just kicks just the door down. It's like, bitch, I thought you wrote. I'm like, I don't want nothing to do with your family. Why you keep coming to me? <laughs> like, leave me alone. You just kidnapped me for how many days, and now you're just breaking into my house. Again, this is the second time someone's broken into his house. <laughs> They're just never gonna leave him alone. Nope. Poor guy. He can't catch a break, man. But, I mean, that's how the show develops. That's how the relationship develops. By being creepy. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think is gonna happen in the next few episodes? I mean, we kind of got a little bit, bit of a teaser there for the next episode. Well, but... obviously... They break into the house, and uh, he feeds him. Feeds him. Clearly. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Clearly. No, I don't know. I don't think we're gonna get a kiss yet. Not yet. Yeah, sometimes, it depends on the show, because I've seen shows the that, last like, show, when we watched Color Rush, we didn't get a kiss until, like, the last literally episode. Literally the last episode. <laughs> we originally, I had planned to do a little, um reaction to Color Rush on here, but then I was like, I have been very impatient, and I already watched it, and I'm like, I gotta show her. And it was very short, you know, what, eight episodes, and so I just 
we watched it off screen. She really liked that one. I do. <laughs> um, but yeah, that one, there are some dramas that take literally, I mean, even regular dramas, too, they take, like, halfway through the show to get one kiss. Mm -hmm. Or, like, even they wait till the last episode to get a kiss, and it's like, what the fuck? Oh, and then, then they show, like, the one guy, like, cheating or whatever. Yeah. Well, he wasn't necessarily cheating. You remember like, if you saw the in air yeah, if you saw the context, they make him he was like, "Help like, me!" They make it look like he's cheating. Yeah, but then so you I feel like the... that's gonna be a source of conflict between that yeah. couple. They're probably and... gonna like have a huge fight over that. Right, and then you also see him too. Not just that he's cheating, but then you hear on the phone like, "Help me!" So something could be going down mm -hmm. either way. And then you also we didn't really get too much on the younger brothers or the younger brother and his uh, interests there. Um, they were just there for the beginning of the episode, where they were... <laughs> I feel like they probably won't focus on them much, just because oh, really? they haven't already. Okay. They, like, show a little bit of their dynamics, like, when they're doing the studying or whatever. Yeah, but you don't think they're gonna show more? No, probably not. Okay. Any other thoughts about the episode, or upcoming episodes you wanna... I just, I still wanna know more about, like, the dad and the mom's backstory. Oh, Yeah. About like why. It's interesting. <laughs> That's a whole. I want to know like, the show. why she wanted nothing to do with him. Well, I mean, they kind of touched on it too. Um, at the very beginning when they I started mean, like, talking, he's a dick. Yeah, but, but they no, they kind of talk. He's like, I'm I'm divorced now, and she goes, Well, I don't want to be your lapdog. I don't want to come when you mm -hmm. want me to come. Like, I wanted us to be in this relationship. Yeah, she's like, I'm getting married. Right, and she's like, I'm. Uh, it's too late. I'm getting married. She's like, I'm not gonna sit sit here and wait for you just for you to decide you want to divorce your wife now, like. You had all this time to do it, but you didn't want to. Yeah, and she's like, you've had three divorces, my dude. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, that's... I'm pretty sure we don't really get too much more on the backstory of the mom and the dad, from what I remember. But, mm -hmm. um, we still see bits of the dad throughout. Um, but I think, I'm pretty sure from here to the rest of the show, it's more focused on, the bo on all the couples now. So. Well, at least the main one for main reasons <laughs> obvious reasons but obvious they're reasons they're the, they're the main couple <laughs> but yeah i enjoyed we enjoyed this episode guys we did so we hope you guys enjoyed it with us um thank you guys for sitting through uh you know it's 50 minute show and then all of our rambling and talking about it but we hope you guys enjoy it um we will be continuing, like I said, we're trying to do more days where we can just focus on Patreon content to get more out for you, um, but we also have a lot of stuff we're doing with YouTube and, you know, school and possibly job offers, so stay with us, we promise we'll get things out for you. <laughs> it's a little bit slow, but they will be out. But yeah, I don't think we have anything else to say on this, guys, so we thank you guys for enjoying this with us. Um, thank you guys for coming over to our Patreon and enjoying the content. Um, if you guys have any thoughts or comments on the episode or any questions or, you know, want to put your own two cents in, leave them in the comments. We'd really appreciate it. We love reading them and responding back. Um, and yeah, so we'll see you guys in the next time. Bye! Bye.